It's like the once great Baz Lightyear used to say. Between the Trinity and the God. If you want to make it through life, you gotta do one thing. And that's grab the bull by the balls. And that's what I've done. That's what I've always done. And there's a motto that's pretty close to me. It's by the good old Muhammad Ali used to say this. He used to say, fling like a butterfly, light like a bee. And I'm, I'm right there with him. Right there with him on that. And that's how I've always lived my life. It's like my grandpappy used to say. If life gives you lemons, toss them out and get yourself a bag of Doritos. That's how I see life, you know what I mean? Take what you want, when you want it. Don't settle for the lemons, get the Doritos. Try your hardest. That's what I did. I remember I used to struggle all the time back when I was a kid, you know? There was bullies, there was mean kids, kids who didn't believe me, teachers said that I was going to be worthless, that I wasn't going to make it anywhere. Look at me now. No, maybe I'm not fighting in tournaments. But that was a personal choice of mine. I could be there, I could be there. But you know, I like the life I have now. I like the underdog life. And that's what I'm living. So, uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Crazy Feet Chris. Okay, and uh, how long have you been a boxer? You know, I, uh, I've been a boxer for as long as I can remember. You know, just like from infant little baby all the way to where I'm at right now. Always been boxing, live and breathe boxing. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My whole so, life's about boxing. So, uh, have you won any matches yet? Uh... I haven't really fought in any matches. Uh, I was really close. I was getting up to the regionals, and I just didn't like the people, you know what I mean? Too many friggin' egos. I couldn't take it, so I left that. You know what I mean? I'm better than that. I need to deal with those people. Okay. Um, I noticed that you, we met up and you still had your boxing gloves on. Oh, yeah. Do they ever come off? No, they don't come off. Uh, they, uh, what actually happened one time is that I just put my hands on them, and uh, I can't seem to get them off anymore. Um, but that's fine, because it's always good to be ready. You know what I mean? You never know when I'm just going to have to, you know, bop someone. So, uh, so pretty good. Yeah. And what made you want to get into boxing? Rocky IV, probably, I'd have to say. Uh, Apollo Creed's death hit me hard. I really, I really felt that, you know what I mean? My parents used to show me all these old boxing movies uh, when I was a kid. And, uh, so, uh, going back to the boxing gloves, um, seeing as how you have them on all day, every day, does mm -hmm. it make it difficult to do daily tasks? You know, it does, it does uh, make uh, some of the daily tasks difficult, but I mean, life of a boxer is never supposed to be easy, you know what I mean? It's all about the, just problems you face and how to overcome them. And I've done pretty well for myself, you know what I mean? I've broken a lot of shit around the house, uh, you know, really struggled. I can't really uh, uh, eat much anymore, you know what I mean? I kind of uh, just do liquids mostly now, but uh, it's not too bad. Well, most boxers uh, in the world of boxing have uh, in, like intense exercise uh, routines. Um, what, it, what is your exercise routine like? Well, see, that's the problem. I actually don't have uh, one. Because the thing is, when you exercise a lot, you're wasting energy. I mean, I really like, sometimes I like to conserve energy. You know what I mean? I save it for the fight. That's these people when they're out there skipping rope. You know what I mean? Just doing that kind of stuff. They're just wasting energy. Save it for the fight. That's why I just sit on the couch for a couple of days straight. You know what I mean? With a big old bag of potato chips. And hence, you know, I just conserve the energy with the big fight. That's what I did for so. Sometimes what I like to do at night as well is uh, I like to go right here into my big backyard and uh, do some training. Uh, I have a boxer I train with. Uh, she's been a boxer her whole life, actually. Uh, she's not bad. She's a good partner. Uh, trustworthy. Um, yeah, she's not too bad of a fighter. Still got to work on a little technique, but you know. That takes time. That takes time. So this is my boxer, as you can see. She's pretty intense. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Thank you, come on. Nice little boxer. Come on. So as you can see, she's pretty intense. She gets pretty lively when we go with the train. You know, she really digs it. So, uh, watch and learn, guys. Come on, Maggie. Come on. A little better at it. Man, she does get me worked up, though. Yeah, the guy who sold me to her said she was a pretty good boxer, so I'm just waiting for when she actually starts uh, throwing some punches, but uh, it takes time, I think. 